hey guys welcome back to my channel it is so good to have you back i did a video about this i discussed about first semester courses but the truth is that 100 level you have what they call first semester and second semester so in today's video i'm going to be talking about your first year courses in architecture school 100 level but second semester <laughs> So if it's your first time seeing my beautiful face, first of all, you are welcome. I am so glad that you are here and I'm so glad we're going to have a nice, rocking, fun time. Subscribe to the channel. We talk about everything, lifestyle, beauty, architecture, vlogs. We do a lot of fun things here. You don't want to miss out on our friendship. You don't want to miss out. So subscribe, like this video, comment down below. And yeah, let's just get right into the video. All right. So moving on to our first course is a course called called ACK 111. This is the first course that I actually took in my 100 level second semester. It's freehand sketching. So they are going to be telling you to sketch a lot. At a particular point in time, our lecturer gave us an assignment where we should draw a lot, like just sketch anything. It could be a basketball, a cup, a chair, anything. He just wanted you to sketch, be able to sketch around you. So the reason why they tell you to take this course in your 100 level of first year is because they are trying to teach you how to be able to sketch. If you're an architectural school you must know how to sketch anything accurately around you you must know how to draw there's no way around it you have to be in architectural school and know how to draw you, your sketches must be fine because i can remember there were some people that actually failed because their sketches were not neat their sketches were not fine it was not fine so the lecturer would literally like not give them a nice grade because they did not have nice drawing they sketched so 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 much so this one is important and it is a two unit course mandatory it is a mandatory <laughs> It is a mandatory. Oh, it is a mandatory course, yeah. and it is a two-unit course. <laughs> The next course is called ACK 113, Introduction to Architecture, and this is also a two-unit course. I actually went to get my old notes. I'm so happy that I have. This is my notes. <laughs> This is my note and I said, let me go and even check, you know, the courses that we did and what was it about. And I found out that this ACK 113, I don't know if you guys can see, this is my handwriting, but this is my ACK 113 note, Introduction to Architecture, two units course. It basically just tells you who is an architect, what does an architect do, the purpose of an architect, the roles of an architect, the definition of an architect. This entire course is dedicated to knowing what an architect or who an architect is and his or her job. So the next course we did is called MTH 111 so people call it math 111 from the name I'm sure you already know when you hear MTH math I'm sure you have an idea but it's not 100% what you think this course is called vectors and coordinate geometry and it is a three unit course personally for me I enjoyed this course maybe because the lecturer was quite easy and it was easy for everybody to understand I enjoyed this course we had two math courses there was another math that was not as easy guys second semester was it was God. <laughs> we did so much calculations. Guys, I am going to show you my notes. We did so much calculations. Calculations, calculations, calculations. X equals Y. Y equals MX plus C. But trust me, it's easy if you pay attention in class. This is math. This is not sketching. Pay attention. So we did tons of calculations. I'm looking back at my notes. I'm like, wow. So the next course is called ACK. One, one, two. I remember this was the first time we were actually introduced into floor plan. We started knowing what is a roof, the slopes of a roof, where it faces, and all of that. This is where we were also taught how to do sections. It has a little bit of floor plan inside. They'll teach you about front elevation, back elevation, just brief you on the basics of how to really construct draw and design a house so we also discussed topics like staircase to teach you what is a staircase how to construct a staircase hundred level is so important because they brief you and they teach you on the basic and just like lay a foundation for you to know okay this is what i'm going to be doing this is what i'm going to be doing so it's good that you actually understand all of these things and know the essence of what is a staircase what is a roof what is it this what is it that what is the front elevation what is the back elevation that is what you are being taught in your 100 level it might seem easy but they have a reason why they are doing it so when you get to 200 level <laughs> i don't want to ramble if you guys also want to know that gist about 200 level let me know i'll gist you guys the next course i have is called 
physics 111. This course is about heat and kinetic theory. There might not be a lot of calculations, but you know how physics is. There must always be calculation. We took courses like thermal expansion. We also did volume expansion too. There's a lot of calculation, but it's not hard. Trust me, you can get an A, B in this course if you are serious. We also did thermal expansion of water, thermal stress. Like guys, it's it's fun. Looking back at it, it was actually very fun. This is not really hard for me, Sha, by the grace of God. I always enjoy it and I always find it fun and I don't know why, but if I can do it, I mean, come. looking through my notes, I actually remember then that I used to enjoy all these courses. So the next course we have on our list is MTH 112 or Math 112, aka Calculus. You see, I saved the, the, the best or the worst for the last, you know? You see this course, hey, if you know what is good for you, if you know what is good for you, this course, do not play with it. Calculus is a very wonderful course. If you know you don't want to fail, like, double your strength, double your attention span and pay good attention when they are teaching you meet your senior colleagues hey put me through put me through because this course eh, this course and my school we had cbe exams right where you go to the computer and you write your exam they might give you like what 40 minutes to answer 60 questions and their calculations so you have to really know what you are doing if not the time is ticking time is ticking time is ticking so that's why I say this course, eh, there's no way around it. Know it. Know it because let's say if you want to answer number one, calculate this, this, this. You spent five minutes answering one question. Meanwhile, you have 60 questions. Girl, you cannot do that. Make sure you know everything. Go and get past questions. Meet your senior colleagues. Everything. This MTH112 calculus. <laughs> Guys. I know what I'm telling you. Pay attention so that you will not fail. I didn't fail by the grace of God. I passed and I passed well. This course I have on my list is called ACK 114. Basic Elementary of Planning. And this is also a two unit course. In this course, we discuss things like urban settlements. They're gonna teach you what's an urban settlement, everything that concerns settlements. They're gonna brief you on it. But as you climb higher in three and 400 level, they would still discuss more on it. So the next course is called History, Philosophy of Science, ACK 115. This is also a two unit course. So basically in this course, Going to be teaching you what is called anthropometrics all right i think this was the first time i had my first jury anthropometrics is a very very fun course trust me you're going to love it anthropometric is basically like the study of the human parts and spaces they want to know the size of a human and the size of the spaces so that when you are building a house you would know what and what kind of measurements is going to fit a particular person or a particular group of people it is so 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 important in architecture and that's why they don't play with this course although it's a two unit course but you guys don't play with it okay so at 113 was the course where we did modular grid it was a very aesthetically pleasing course i really loved it i think they told us to do about three sets of modular grid and this course it was like this particular assignment was over 10. all right guys thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much for watching this video i wanted to advise you guys that um if you're coming to architecture school, um, if you guys want a video about me giving you guys advice, my own personal experience in 100 level, 200 level, 300 level, you want to know how was I able to surf through, you want a detailed video of my experience, videos, footages, you want to see my own projects, please let me know. I feel like that would be such an interesting video and it will be a video on its own so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys found this video helpful and i'll see you guys in the next one tell me what next you want to see i really love this kind of content so i'll see you guys in my next video until next time make sure you stay blessed stay fabulous like this video guys you don't you cannot tell me that you like me you like my content and you are not liking the video like this video comment and subscribe be a part of this community we're having fun over here subscribe like the video comment and let's just have some fun okay so i'll see you guys in my next video until next time stay fabulous stay blessed bye Mwah. Ooh.